three, two, one. Welcome back to Bean Gaming. Today is the day I've been waiting for for such a long time. The season pass has a little bit over, well, a little bit less than 26 days, but guess what? I am going to be able to finish the season pass today. Take a look. If I click on the season pass, you're like, Bean, you haven't done anything. What the heck is up with that? Well, check out the amount of pirate coins that I have, 22,204. I've been grinding like crazy to get this thing completed, and I'm finally there. Well, how much coins do you need to fully complete the season pass? You need 20,450. But then, if you take a look, there are pirate tokens along the way here. You can see a tier three, tier seven, tier 16, and then there's a couple more, I think, tier 25 and tier 45 that give you pirate tokens to help you along the way. But let's just start from the beginning here and go over every single one of these and see and just have a little, little bit of fun with this. Here we go. So 0% completion. We are going to the end. Are you ready? Tier 1. I need to unlock this. Yes. There. Unlocked. Tier 2. I get 9 Spartan Silver. That's pretty good. Unlock. Tier 3. Unlock this to receive 50 Pirate Tokens. Unlocked. Tier 4. 50 Gems. Unlocked. Tier 5. Oh, I get the Golden Trident, which I think... Do I have that one already? I think I do. Anyways, unlock. Tier six, four Spartan gold, very nice. Unlock, you can see them by completion, it's going up by 2% every single time. Tier seven, 50 pirate tokens, unlocked. Tier eight, a limited serpent crate spin and progress to tier nine, unlocked. Tier nine, 200 coins, unlocked. Tier 10, here is the earth serpent. I have no idea what this one does, but either way, unlocked. Tier 11, 150 gems, unlocked. Tier 12, premium pet egg, unlocked. Tier 13, 1000 XP bottle, I like that one, unlocked. Tier 14, five Spartan gold this time, unlocked. Tier 15, I have the pirate champion already, but either way, guess what? Unlocked. Tier 16, 75 pirate tokens, unlocked. Tier 17, 250 coins, very nice, unlocked. 15 Spartan silver, Unlock, that's good for three spins. Oh, uh, look at tier 19, you get one mega pet token. I haven't had one of those in a really long time. Unlocked, tier 20, the Hermit Crab Tower. He's a track tower, unlocked. Tier 21, 175 gems, I like that one, unlocked. Another premium pet egg, unlocked. Tier 23, I like this one. You get two bottles of 100 XP, and here we go, unlocked. Tier 24, I like this one as well, the Limited Serpent Crate, unlocked. Tier 25, some more Pirate Tokens, unlocked. What do we have here? 15 Spartan Gold, ooh, unlocked. 300 Coins, unlocked. 21 Spartan Silver, that's good enough for four spins, unlocked. Tier 29, another Mega Pet Token, unlocked. I already have this Pirate Champion skin, Redbeard, unlocked. Some more Gems, 250 of those, unlocked. Tier 32, unlocked premium pet egg. Now you get 3,000, a 3,000 XP bottle. This is really good, unlocked. Tier 34, limited serpent crate, unlocked. 30 Spartan gold, let's go, unlocked. 36, 300 coins, unlocked. And then the pistol shrimp. I heard this is a really good tower. But, oh, we gotta go back here, hello. Tier 37, 60 Spartan silver. That's good enough for 12 spins, unlocked. Now the Pistol Shrimp. Unlocked one Mega Pet Token. Oh, so I have three of those now. That's cool. Neptune Tower. I, I have no idea what this one does. Unlocked 500 gems. Very nice. Unlocked. Then we have another Premium Pet Egg. That's unlocked. A 10,000 XP bottle. Yes. Let's go ahead and unlock this one. 500 coins. Unlocked. 500 Pirate Tokens. Unlocked. And then 100, whoa, 150 Spartan silver. That's good enough for 30 spins. Unlocked. 60 Spartan gold. Is that the last one? It is the last kind of Spartan gold we can get. So 60 Spartan gold. Unlocked. The last pirate champion skin, which I have already. Unlocked. And 1,000. You only get one limited. Oh, I wish they did more than one of them. But either way, unlocked. And lastly, what everyone needs to have in your loadout, the Air Serpent. 2,500 pirate tokens. Guess what? 
unlocked. Season pass is fully complete. Let's go. That's awesome. And just for the heck of it, let me run on over here for the Sandman. Do I have enough for the Sandman? Let's interact. I need 1,250. Yes, I have enough. Go ahead and buy him. There we go. I completed the season pass and I got the Sandman. That is awesome. Let's go check these out here. Inventory. Oh man, I gotta go find them now. Where are they all located? I think the first one was, let's do this in order. Let's scroll all the way back. Let's just get the slider here. The first one was the Earth Serpent, and then we had the Hermit Crab. So let's do Earth Serpent first, and I'm glad we can search for these. Earth Serpent. There he is. And looks like he's... He's a little bit on the slow side. He attacks every four seconds and goes all the way up to a damage of 85. I don't know what he does. Don't know if he's AOE or not, but either way, 50,000 damage every four seconds. And then the next one was the Hermit Crab, H-E-R-M. Let's click on him. Yes, he is a track tower, 15 seconds, which is pretty good, a good speed there. Does he stay 15 all the way through? No, he switches at tier three and goes all the way to 300,000 every 10 seconds. I don't know if that's the best track tower, but that's actually really, really good. I'm impressed with that one. We're gonna have to play with him. And then who's up next? Oh yes, we have the Pistol Shrimp. So let's go back to our inventory and type in the Pistol Shrimp. So he has a .6 attack speed. Does that stay the same? It doesn't, so he is slower, and then he does speed up to an attack speed of one. So 64,000, which is pretty good. Don't know how many placements he is, but we'll do another video and completely go over what his stats are. Okay, and then who else? We finished up with, I think I missed Neptune. Neptune is right here. Let's go in inventory and type in Neptune. There he is. What does he do? He starts off with 10,000 as damage, range of 80, and goes all the way to 110 range and then 60,000. That's I mean, that's okay. I don't know what I would compare it to. And remember, you have multiple boosts that augment those different stats. You have the pet boost, you have the champion skin boost. Remember, you can go to your champions. If you didn't have the pirate skins, it's right over here. And pirate at level 75 gives you a 10% damage boost for all your own towers in the game. So if you didn't have the pumpkin champion, you definitely want to use the pirate because that 10% boost is really good. It increases along the way. So once you reach level 25, you want to get that 3%, which is nice, then a 5% all the way to 10%. And you're like, Bean, I'm going to have to grind some more because look at all these levels I have to get to. Not necessarily. They gave you some help along the way. If you go back to your inventory and you go to your items, let's see, it's, no, it's under your XP, I'm sorry. This is what you earned along the way along the season pass. So put on that champion skin and go ahead and use everything that you have in here and it's gonna level you up. Not all the way, but it's gonna level you up probably if I were to guess, let's see if I go to profile champions, if I were to guess, it'll probably get you close to level 50. Don't know if it's gonna actually get you there, but I'm thinking it should probably at least get you to that level 25 because the XP is so little up until level 25 and then it starts increasing. So I would say try it out. You might be able to get to level 50 and then after there, you are going to have to put in the grind for it. But once you start collecting coins, you can go to the shop and go to XP, and you can see how much the XP actually costs. So I would save up if I were you to get to 3,000, and then just buy this barrel of 10,000 XP, and then apply it to that champion skin. So that's going to be really good for you. But yeah, let me take a look at some of these towers. Oh, and then we have the Sandman. He's brand new to me, so let's go to inventory towers. Let's type in the Sandman. There he is. Don't know if he's good, if he's not good, I have no idea. But it looks like he starts off with another attack speed of attacking every 4 seconds with a 3,000 damage. Some people build sand castles, others build sand sentinels capable of extreme destruction. I don't know if he's going to cause extreme destruction. And then this is without any kind of rank on him as well. And let's see, does the attack speed increase? It does not increase. But he has a hammer, so maybe he does AOE. I'm not overly sure about that. So that'll be another video coming your way hopefully soon and we will check him out. So if you're still like being, I'm not done with the season pass, I've been grinding certain maps and da 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 and I don't, is there a map that's actually really good to grind? And it is, it's going to be the shark map and I've been playing that on the second mode, I think it was just, which is hard mode. You want to do that one and this is the team that I've been using. I have a zombie panda and let me just flip through these real quick so I can show you what ranks I have on him. 
Zombie Panda Force of Nature is going to be the best rank. And then I have the Elite Skyborn Piercer. Now, most people are not going to have him, so if you don't have the Elite Skyborn Piercer, then you're going to want to use Mutant Indominus. But let's actually go back to him again, Elite Skyborn Piercer, and take a look at the, the different levels, all the way up until a boost of 30%, but he's doing piercing damage, which is really good. Now, as I said, if you don't have him, then you do want Mutant Indominus. Force of Nature is going to be the best rank on both of them. Mutant Indominus, all the way to the last tier, Tier 5, is going to give you that 30% boost, and then he's doing 12,000 damage. There's only two placements for Mutant Indominus, where the Elite Skyborn Piercer, there's three. And Elite Skyborn does the piercing, where Mutant is just a regular standard DPS tower. And then we have the Trident Champion, and he's pretty good. He still has all the way through an attack speed of 0.5, so he's attacking every two seconds, and Force of Nature is the best rank. There's three placements here, so if you don't have him, then you know you might want to try and get him. If not, you could probably use God Kuma or another full AoE tower. Rage Claw, he's the one that you want. Eternal Glory is going to be the best rank on him, and all the way up until the uh, same attack speed, once every four seconds, 375,000, but there's only one placement for Rage Claw. That's why Eternal Glory is the best. Trident Champion, there's three placements, so Force of Nature. And then comes Web Widow. Web Widow is a stunning tower, and there's three placements for him, and Lightning Speed is going to be the best. If you don't have a Web Widow, then Medusa is going to be the way that you want to go. And you want, I think, Force of Nature on Medusa, or actually not even, For Force of Nature is actually really good, but you can get another range type of rank on Medusa. Far Reach 3 is good. Am I missing another one? Far Reach 3 is good. Oh, Eagle Eye. Eagle Eye is good as well. That way you can extend that. You could, I mean, if you get Lightning Speed, then I would definitely consider keeping Lightning Speed as well. So some things to consider. Okay, and then we have the Elite Skyborn Piercer. He sh I'm sorry, the Skyborn Goliath. He shows up right here. And Force of Nature, there's three placements, so Force of Nature is the best rank on him. And so, again, every four seconds he attacks with a range of 150. That's really good. And then lastly, everyone's favorite, the Chain Dragon. Full DPS tower. There's only one placement for him. And so Eternal Glory is going to be the best. And you know what I forgot? I forgot the Air Serpent. Air Serpent's right here. There's no rank. Let's actually go try and rank him up. So all the way to the end here, if you don't have Air Serpent, Web Widow's going to be the way to go. Or Medusa. It'd be interesting to combine two or three of them, but Air Serpent, I think, is going to be the best out of all three because not only do we start off with attacking every two seconds, but it actually has an attack of 20,000. I believe there's three placements. Don't quote me on that. There's either... I think there is three because Web Widow has three, and I think the developers wanted to match that. So Air Serpent, three placements. So we're going to go with Force of Nature or Lightning Speed. Let's actually go... To the lobby and see if we can go to the is it the Coliseum where we can go and try and rank him on up where is the Coliseum there is the arena the arena is the name and let's see what we get I hope I I'm, I'm hopefully I'm not gonna jinx this right now but I do not want to get anything other than force of nature or I think that's probably the one I want to go for lightning speed but I don't want to get Eternal Glory. If I get Eternal Glory, I'm just gonna I'm gonna get so angry and I'm gonna roll off of it because I, that's that's not a good rank for him. Okay, so train. We're gonna train. Look at I I think I have enough tokens here, coins to kind of get something good here. Far Reach and Far Reach again. I don't want to go fast because this game here it does not stop you or warn you if you have a really good rank. Battlemaster is good, but not for him. Far Reach 1. Lightning Speed, there we go. Lightning Speed has a 3.5% chance. So there we go, I'm gonna keep Lightning Speed on him. Let's back on out. And I think Lightning Speed just boosts attack speed by 25%. Okay, get out of there, get out of there. And back to the inventory, back to Air Serpent now. And so we're up to 0.6 instead of 0.5. So that matches Web Widow's speed. And he might actually be a little bit quicker, but his range is 125. How is Web Widow's range? Web Widow is 125. So 125 compared to 125. Yeah, so they're essentially the exact same thing now, except with the damage with the Air Serpent. All right, that's cool. So yeah, let's just stop here, and then I have some some of these towers that I'm going to showcase eventually and just kind of go from there. Marketplace is down. Hopefully this weekend it's going to be back up. And yeah, see, it's the people that ruin this game, man. 
they even put it right here close while we investigate duping there's people that are trying to actively ruin this game and so that just ruins it for everyone else so it just it, it's just terrible there's people like that I can't stand people like that to try and to try and hack other people's games it's not cool at all but anyways, on that note, I think this was fun to go through the entire season pass and check out some of these different rewards you get all the way through to the end. So next video, we're going to take a look at some of the towers that I want and kind of go from there. And so if you did enjoy this video, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on that notification bell. Thanks again for watching, everyone. Hope you have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!